Hello scientist, I'm going to fix this AI generated graphic abstract and make a graphic abstract that you can actually submit to the journals. Welcome to my channel. My name is John. I taught at the University of Amsterdam. I post tutorials on this channel so you guys can make free scientific illustration by yourself. I also offer consultations. So I got this question via Instagram DM from a scientist. They presented me this AI image, which looks horrendous. The scientists also know this is not a quality image image that they can use for their publication. They asked me how they can fix this illustration. I know a lot of you guys are using AI to generate your graphic abstract. I totally understand why you guys want to use AI very efficient in generating images yet. AI is not smart enough to make graphic abstract. The reason is these scientific illustrations requires it's very accurate scientific facts. Creative AI cannot focus on those specific details yet. It might be able to do that in a few years, but for now, AI is not a good tool for generating scientific illustrations. There was a scandal last year where the image was so bad, the paper was retracted. Not only the name of the researchers were tarnished, the journal also lost its credibility because why would the reviewer approve this image that is obviously hard Horrible. Back to this AI generated graphic abstract I received yesterday. I will be showing in this video how I would fix this illustration. I'll be fixing it in PowerPoint and let's get into it. Let's grab a red pen and draw a big red cross on that AI image because it is not working at all. It's beyond fixing. So I'm just going to move them to the side and start all over. Okay. So I'll grab a circle tool and draw a circle. I'm making a healthy cell first. Then we mutate it into a cancer cell. And I put a very thin outline around the circle. the most easy style to apply to your graphic abstract is to have gradients inside of your objects. So here I put a radio gradient inside of our circles. This is an easy way to render your illustration and make it look sophisticated. Then we need to create a nucleus. So I'll just make a copy of the circle, scale it down Put it at the center and then remove the outline put a darker more saturated color into the gradient then this will be the nucleus of our cell you will see this style a lot on nature review uh, so this is an easy way to create that type of graphical abstract style. All right, now I will mutate the cell into a cancer cell. Right click, click on edit points, and I get these points that I can manipulate the shape of the cell membrane. All right, I'll add a few more points by right click and add points. I'm just going through these steps really quickly because I just want to show you guys, you know, like an overall way of making graphic abstract in PowerPoint. Uh, it is possible. And if you guys want to learn how to do this in detail, let me know in the comments. I might create a course. I might create a online course to uh, you know, show these functions in details. But only if you comment and let me know you want these badly. Okay. Um, I'll speed up the process. Now I'm grabbing a new shape. I want to create. I want to create a few podiums. I want to create a few processes on the cancer cell. So it looks sinister. Um, I'll create these ellipse, you know, very long, thin ellipse and scatter them around the surface of the cell. Okay, 
Now I use the Merge Shape Unite to combine these shapes. Uh, it's a bit uh, complicated to use this tool. So if you want to learn it, if you want to learn it, let me know in the comments. All right. And now I will change the color of the gradient into something brown. Because we want the cancer cell look, we want a corrupted color. That's why we don't want a fresh color anymore. I'll get a desaturated dirty color. So we know cancer cells are bad. Now we can group the, now we have our, now we can start proliferating our cancer cell. Oh, I also want to make, I also want to mess up the shape of, I also want to distort the shape of the nucleus because uh, it is a mutated cell. It shouldn't look proper. So let me squeeze some of the, so yeah, let me just move some of these points around and we have a mist and we have a distorted nucleus. All right. Now we are ready to proliferate our cancer cell. Okay. We're essentially building a tumor right now. I will rotate some of the cells so they look uh, so to just to randomize the alignment so if everything is very aligned it looks artificial you know so if it's an organic matter it's better to have a little bit of variation in their direction creating some randomness in you know in their structure Okay. And the topic of this illustration, the topic of this graphic abstract is cancer stem cell. So we need to change the color of this specific cell into something that's more distinguishing. So we know this cell is the star of the story. I'm selecting a more prominent saturated color. And so we know this cell is special, but at the same time, we're still in the same red hue, um, the red hue zone of the color. So that you can still tell this cancer stem cell is a type of stem is a type of cancer cell. All right. I move the, I now, uh, I would now create the fig. Okay. I move these two cells down here to create the figure legend. Yes. Um, you can expect your viewers to tell to have telepathy with you and read your mind. So we need a legend to tell them what each of the cell uh, we need a figure legend to show them what these graphic stands for. Let me duplicate this tumor. I will add an arrow here to indicate the flow of the story. Let me label what is happening in this step. Okay. We have a cancer therapy that that kills most of the cancer cells. In order to show the cancer cells have been killed, I will make their outline into these dashed lines. So it looks like they are disappearing. I will remove the fill inside of the cell. So there you go. 
looks like they have disappeared and eliminated. Okay, uh, the line is a bit too thin. Let me thicken the width of the line. All right, now I need to apply this style to the rest of the cells because we this therapy has killed most of the cells. This therapy has killed most of the cancer cells. It is really efficient. However, the therapy failed to eliminate the cancer stem cell. So this is the beginning of the next nightmare because the cancer stem cell will proliferate again and grow into a new tumor. It is one of the causes of the recurrence of cancer. All right, so this is how I will fix this graphic abstract about cancer stem cell. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and a final note I really want to emphasize again about these AI generated images is that it is not suitable for scientific publication yet. I have shared more of my thoughts about AI thinking over scientific illustration and my membership video. It is a very controversial topic among scientific illustrator. A lot of the scientific illustrators are anti-AI because it is a direct threat to their job. Let me know in the comments if you have more questions or book a consultation with me. If you want to know my true thoughts about AI, just subscribe and become my member. All right, I'll see you guys there.